Right now I want to talk about why I'm fasting. I've had some comments both written beneath my videos and messages sent to me privately talking about how good a raw food diet or juicing is. And I totally agree with that thought. Um, I believe that the most optimal diet is a mostly raw, low-fat vegan diet. I think a little bit of raw animal products such as dairy probably is a good thing to add to your diet if you can find it raw and organic. But that's an impossibility for a lot of people. Anyway, I'm digressing. Um, last fall, when my blood pressure started to go up higher than what it had been, I knew I needed to go on a fast because fasting will enable the body to heal quicker than a raw food diet will. So I started looking into things and my husband just didn't want me to go to a fasting center. It's understandable. I homeschool my children. We have four children at home. We've got three children that are grown, but four still at home, and one that's just a toddler and still in diapers. And because I homeschool them, it's not like he can send them off to school and have his days free. He's got to be mom and dad if I'm not here. So he really didn't want me to go, and the kids didn't want me to go. And frankly, I didn't want to leave them. You know, I, I'm okay with leaving the three oldest, but the youngest one, she just would not understand why mommy's gone for a month. So that was a huge consideration. After that, I started to get worse and worse. And it felt like there was a hole in my body where the life was just dripping out of me. I could feel every day I was worse than the day before. Right before Thanksgiving, um, well, the day before Thanksgiving, I was feeling kind of weak, but I was preparing the meal for the next day. So that all I'd have to do would be to warm things up and then cook the turkey overnight so that it'd be, be done. Um, I started to feel really weak, and that night my blood pressure skyrocketed. I don't remember the exact numbers, but it was something like 226 over 144. And even then, though I knew how bad I felt and I knew I probably should go to the hospital, I really didn't realize how serious it was. Now, I had written a thesis on hypertension and ways to get over hypertension, but I had never come across the term malignant hypertension. From that point on, I tried to eat better and I attempted a fast just a couple days after Thanksgiving. I lasted six days. It was really, really hard. The kids kept coming in my room, kept waking me up. And my husband even, you know, he, if he was unsure about something, he'd come and get me. So I wasn't getting the rest that I needed, and I broke the fast. In hindsight, I think that was probably good, because if you don't get the rest, you might as well not be fasting. You're just putting more stress on your body. So for the next couple months, I just I tried to eat right, but it was hard. I'm not the one doing the grocery shopping. I've been too weak to go out. I don't think I've been out five times this year. My husband's had to do everything because I've just felt so weak. My vision's been going, and I didn't feel like I should be driving, especially with a child or children in the car. So I was limited as to what I could eat. Plus, I just didn't have the strength to stand at a juicer and juice or to chop up vegetables or rinse vegetables. So, you know, I, I wasn't eating like I should, and I really wasn't even eating enough. So then my blood pressure started to get high again. You know, it had initially dropped a tiny bit after that fast, but then it started to get high again. And one night it went up really, really high. I think it was 196 over, I don't remember. I don't remember. It was high, like. 196 over 155 or something, something really, really high. And I knew I should go to the hospital, but my husband wasn't home. He had taken our daughter to dance, and I was here with three kids. So I just, you know, laid on the couch and tried to take it easy, and I decided that I really did have to go on a fast, though. I again looked into fasting centers and came very close to going to True North because I felt like there I'd get some medical attention and I wouldn't get that anywhere else and I felt like I really needed that medical attention. But in the meantime I came across information on malignant hypertension and realized that's what I had. 
only 1% of people with hypertension get malignant hypertension. And if malignant hypertension goes untreated, you have a 1% chance of being alive within a year. So I knew fasting was really important. However, it still hadn't hit me that my malignant hypertension started in November. I've lost four months. So I've got eight months. Eight months of a chance to be alive, a 1% chance to be alive in eight months. But that doesn't mean even that that 1% chance is going to take me through eight months. It means any time within the next eight months I could die. So that was a real eye-opener. Raw food, yes, it will get rid of hypertension. But it would probably take eight months to get to the point where I can get in eight days. And I don't even know if I have days left. So I knew that I had to go on this fast. It's hard. It's exhausting. It's hard on my family to watch me because I look so sick. I'm moody, and you know, they've got to deal with that too. But I really don't have an option. I want to go raw when the fast is over. But right now, I have to fast because I don't know how much time I have. You know, I've made it through four days of the fast right now. My blood pressure is coming down a little. The weight's dropping, which helps the blood pressure come down. I'm really weak. I have had headaches today and the end of yesterday. Actually, I woke up with one yesterday and it went away and then it came back. I get out of breath easy. I feel feverish sometimes. And it's difficult. And I know that if I went on a juice diet or a raw food diet, that I'd actually have energy as I'm healing. But I think it probably takes one month of juicing to do what a water fast can do in a day. I need this deep cleansing and this deep healing as quickly as I can get it. So that's why I've chosen fasting. I do not recommend anybody go on an extended fast, especially someone with any kind of health issue, if they don't have supervision. And with a health issue, not only do I recommend supervision, but I recommend medical supervision because it really is a matter of life and death. I feel like God was leading me into this, though, and when God says do something and you do it, I don't think you're going to fail. So I hope that answered some of your questions, and I thank you for following along, and I, I thank you for your comments. It means a lot to me. Until later, bye.